Yo, what is up, guys? It's me, Papi Ariel, and this is a YouTube video. Yeah, we're here to do another last review, and it's called She's All Bad, which, um, I'm probably in, besides Jerry's Appears, is my least favorite Halloween episode of the entire series. And let's get to and why I don't like this episode as much as other people, but it's not a bad episode, but it's definitely close to bad. But uh, let's discuss why I do not like this episode after we finish this review. So, let's get started with the retrospective and breakdown of the entire episode. Yeah, let's get started. So, this episode from here, they're on the... Uh, I think they're on the August or September. I forgot the date when it was released, but uh, whatever. I think it's around the time when the movie came up. <laughs> yeah. So, let's now get started with the topping. So, this episode begins with uh, Prince of Hogan's telling the kids that... Uh, uh, there should be one more member in the demonstrations club since uh they since according to the paper um, there needs one more member in the club so lucy and the others try to find the uh, try to ask kids to join their club but they all freak out whatever but then they all but then the rest of the members are like hey why don't we ask your sister lucy and lucy's like no don't do it because she's gonna ruin the club whatever and then uh, lucy decides to ask uh, but then um, she didn't pick she didn't want, but uh, she has to do it anyways. But uh, of course, she goes say yes, and uh, she changes the club. And uh, Lucy hates what she did, so she decides to get rid of her in the club by scaring her or, let's say, putting a curse. But of course, they all turn to be fine. And after Lucy scares Lola again by uh, like a monster, um, a crow reveals the truth, and then, uh, and it turns out Lucy was the one in the monster costume. So yeah, that's them. Um, so Lola runs away and and everyone's like, you should go apologize to your sister. So Lucy does and then there's a big truth that um she's actually Lola's actually more jealous of Lisa actually. And they have a good old hug, the episode ends. Yeah. And uh, I don't really like this episode that much because it's a rehash of a bunch of other episodes. Uh yeah, sure the whole idea about the oh and um needs to remember in the club. But that's a good idea, but then um, the whole rest of the episode is just a fair to remember again, but the uh, it's a more of a Halloween setting, but still doesn't really fix the episode anyways, because how a very to remember is a classic episode, definitely one of the best in season one. But uh, the ones that came out of that were just turned to meh or bad. Yeah, like single doubt or anti tough. This is one of the better ones, like flying a solo, but still this is no way the best of the uh, third wheel episodes because because uh, I'm not very fond of these episodes because they're just typically the same old thing over and over again just like how people complain about the whole of movies. After 2, they just became the same old thing again, whatever, except for brand new characters. That's uh, how you describe with this episode. Okay, not the whole brand new characters part, I meant the whole like retreading of plots and stuff, yeah. But um, there are, I do like the characters and um, the setting in the Mortician's Club is actually pretty cool but Still, the rest of the episode is kind of bland, and the jokes aren't really that uh, funny. Well, I do like the fact, I do like the costumes that the, that the Morticians Club wear when Lola redecorates the place. Yeah. So yeah, overall, she's all bad. Gets a a low six out of ten. It's um, it's almost a five out of ten in my opinion. But um, it's kind of entertaining at times. But uh, still not enough to make it a seven out of ten. Good episode. Yeah. This is definitely the worst Halloween episode of, of them all, and that's my opinion. If you hate Gears of Fears more than this one, that's okay, because I've seen some reviews about how bad Gears of Fears, Fears is. And she's all bad, definitely my least favorite one of the bunch. But still not all bad, though. Yeah. But anyways, thank you for watching this video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Subscribe now, guys. Please. Thank you. And, uh, please don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, guys, so that we have more views of the channel, because Right now, my videos are getting really less views right now, so we need more people to come to the channel, guys. And, uh, I already got the thing you wanted, guys. Editing. Yeah, I'm finally editing my videos right after that, uh, ranking of the OG62 Halloween books of Goosebumps. So I'm finally back to editing, so for the ones who love the channel, I guess, because I didn't edit videos anymore, come back now. I'm back to editing, guys. Yeah. Anyways, thank you for watching this video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Yeah, subscribe to the channel if you have them. And click the notification bell and bye bye guys. And get ready for my upcoming SpongeBob Halloween reviews and last upcoming 
Halloween reviews. I plan to re review these Goosebumps series to thousand Halloween books, like Headless Halloween and Full Fever. Let's just see about that, guys. If I can handle that, because I have a bunch of I have a gold schedule right now for uh, Halloween ideas, like a versus video on the two Goosebumps movies, or a review of Trick, the Halloween episode, and the review of a of the season five Loud well, special Ghosted. Yeah. And uh, I'm trying to think if I want to do a review on the Cost of Carnage episode, Croaked, or New Haunts, but uh, we'll see about that. <laughs> Anyways, bye-bye guys, and what did you think about this review in retrospective?